Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I've got another Octopath Traveler 2 video for you here. Uh, this is actually going to be another battle-tested um, gear guide, uh, weapons and shield. And um, I, I've actually already done one of these, and, and I actually really like that video, but uh, I wanted to kind of do some tweaks and, and figure out if I could do this you know, a little bit earlier, and, uh, and maybe having not done actually any... Um, of, of the character chapters, you know, kind of beyond your initial characters, chapter one and two. Uh, and so I've done that. And um, uh, basically it's the same deal, though. You've got uh, Hikari as arms master. Uh, you're going to need, or what, what I uh, think is really good here, is to use the Hypno Sword. Um, I really like this, this sword. So for one thing, it has pretty decent physical attack, which honestly isn't that uh, important. But it does have 90 evasion, which is kind of nice. And then it says it has a slim chance to put the target to sleep. Um, so the Hypnosword is actually found in the Southern Timberane Trail, I believe is the name of this. Yeah, so just south of Timberane, um, it should be pretty easy to find. I'm not going to include, you know, the specific, um, uh, you know, area where the chest is located, but, you know, you should be able to find it uh, pretty easily there. Uh, the next up is the uh, Lost Tribe Spear. Um, that is located uh, here in the Shipwreck of the Empress. Again, that's the Lost Tribe Spear. Uh, you do not have to fight a boss in order to get that, uh, so that should be pretty easy. Uh, next up, actually, so you don't need to worry about the, the, the dagger. That's not important. Neither is the axe. Uh, neither is the bow. Uh, but the staff is. You'll, you'll definitely want to get the Giant's Club. Uh, because of the fact that it raises the potency of physical skills. That's, again, very, very important. Uh, and that is located up here in the Ivory Ravine. Uh, same thing. It does not require a boss battle to get to, uh, or to get, so um, definitely make your way through there and, and grab that. Uh, the next piece of equipment... Um, this one isn't as critical, but you know what? Why not, right? Because of the max SP plus 20, and I should say... Uh, this strategy is going to be relying on the mythical boar uh, spear skill. I'll show you where to get that. But just know that the, or the important thing to know with that is the more SP you have, the more damage it's going to do. So, again, uh, this is kind of nice, but not needed. Uh, this is located in uh, Winterbloom. And, um, yeah, up here at Winterbloom in the northern part of town. Uh, in the Actually, let's just go there. I'll just go there really quickly just to show you uh, exactly where this guy is at. Zip on past these guys, and into the thieves' quarter, uh, and into the uh, weapon shop. I believe this guy is. So let's go right here, and he's he's actually here. It looks like during the day, um, so uh, you can steal that from him, you know, pretty easily. I I actually stole that with Throne, so um, yeah, so uh, so definitely do that. Uh, next up, what is it? I think it's the helmet, right? Let's take a look here. Yeah, Art of Discar Disguise and Courtroom. All right, so Art of Disguise. Let's actually go there as well. So we need to go into Mary Hills to get this one. Um, this actually is adding, what is it, 90 SP, which is kind of huge. Uh, it's actually sold from this vendor here, but you need to uh, scrutinize this guy first uh, for the information, uh, and that'll get you the new equipment for sale, which is going to add... Uh, that helmet, uh, that Art of Disguise to this guy's shop list. Um, this guy was very, very difficult to scrutinize with Oswald, so I actually saved here and then had to like attempt this a couple of times, so just keep that in mind. Your scrutinized chance is probably going to be pretty low. Uh, but anyways, uh, here it is, Art of Disguise. You could say 15,500 leaves, not two shabs. Uh, next up is the Quartz Robe. That's located here in the Nameless Village, uh, so let's go in here. The first thing, actually, that I'm going to recommend doing is heading right into the inn and scrutinizing this little beastling boy here. Uh, he's going to get you the discount for the um, the inn. And I, I restore my SP at this inn quite a bit because the inn is so close to the entrance uh, when you kind of, like, you know, teleport or quick travel in. So I guess keep that in mind. All right, anyways, um, the, uh, the quartz robe is located here. Uh, that is going to get you an extra uh, 60 SP. All right, so that is uh, that is that for the uh, equipment aside from the um, the accessories. 
Uh, the Fang of Ferocity and the Victory Ring. So the Fang of Ferocity uh, raises the, um, the damage that you do with boosted attacks. You're going to need to go into the Curious Nest for that and actually beat the boss. Um, there is a Battle-Worn Shark that's guarding this area as well. He's kind of a boss as well. Pretty easy to beat, though. And then the Tyranno Drake is inside the Curious Nest. He's pretty easy to beat. I have a um, an actual guide on that as well. If you want to take a look at that, definitely do that. Um, but yeah, and he's actually a pretty fun boss. Um, has one of the one of the cooler um, kind of aspects to him and, and strategy in order to take him down. So um, take a look at that. But anyways, all right. So let's go into the actual skills that you need to beat him. The first one being Mythical Boar, and um, that is from this beastling here. Uh, obviously, you'll need to challenge uh, this person during the day, and uh, you'll learn that mythical boar spell or skill. Uh, rank eight, not too bad to uh, to take down. Uh, the next ability, actually, I should say, and the only other ability that you need for this one is uh, hazy. What is this called? Hazy slash, uh, and that is located here inside. You just run up into the warriors guild and challenge this person here. There it is, hazy slash. So, Hazy Slash says it does uh, a moderately powerful sword attack on a single foe. That part of it's not um, not really necessary, or that doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is that it reduces their physical defense for two turns. Now, there's other skills that Hikari can learn uh, that reduce, you know, physical defense as well. I know there's an axe attack, there may be even like a spear, or I don't know if there's a spear attack, but I think there's like a, gosh, what was that other, maybe like a bow attack or something like that, but... Uh, the reason why I like Hazy Slash is because it will take advantage of the Hypno Sword sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. And will put your target to sleep. And I'll show you why that's kind of important here when we actually do this. Um, but anyways, that is... Uh, oh, I should say also um, that Victory Ring. Uh, the Victory Ring is located here in New Delsta. Um, basically, you go into the northern uh, portion of town... Uh, actually, it might be called the back streets. That that might be the the, the actual like uh, area name. But anyways, uh, there is a uh, a very short side quest there uh, called a gambling man. Uh, very easy to do. Also, just go uh, talk to the woman who says her husband is a gambler, uh, and then you go into the the gambling or the uh, the gaming room or whatever that place is called, and um, and scrutinize the dealer there. Uh, who will reveal information about basically that they're cheating uh, and then you report back to the woman and uh, that will get you the victory ring and that is uh, another you know very very important item for this all right so the last thing that uh, that I want to talk about before we actually do these battles is the support skills uh, so this is the obviously the, the support skills that I've got here on Hikari uh, so that's deal more damage that's um, obviously the, the last uh, skill that the uh, the warrior learns uh, and then a step ahead, you actually have to create two of your own inventions in order to unlock that uh, with the inventor class. So basically, I mean, pick any any of the two easier uh, inventions to make. The elemental bomb bottle is really easy. Um, hastening hammer is actually pretty easy as well. Uh, tin horn is a problem, though, because that's the Partitio Chapter 3 that you have to complete. So probably don't pick that one, but... Um, again, there's there's multiple, and you, I, I should say I, I have a, a full inventor guide, so if you need to uh, take a look at that, go ahead. Uh, and then Arms Master is, uh, is a, or I should say peak, per, peak performance comes from Arms Master. Uh, unfortunately, you do need to collect three legendary items for that, though they're pretty easy as well. A lot of them are very easy to get a hold of, so um, you know that shouldn't be too much of a problem either. Uh, and then boost start, and that's just the merchant skill. Uh, again, very easy to actually get this. So, um, I should also state, uh, I'm not exactly sure what level I was first able to do this. Um, I, I vaguely remember being around level 68 was the first time I, I, I got this all worked out, but I think I may have actually been able to do this a little bit uh, earlier with the, the, the specific setup and the skills that I've got. Um, but I guess keep in mind, that was right around the first time I... I uh, I, I guess I, I had a successful, um, you know, deal on this. But again, I think I could have done this even earlier. I wish I would have tested that a little bit more. But I guess just keep in mind that if you're not able to, uh, you know, do this, uh, you know, maybe just put on a couple of levels. Uh, I also did, um, I used like three of the fortifying nuts on Hikari. Uh, and so that boosted up my uh, physical attack just a little bit, though. 
they were just the like the basic fortifying nuts. So again, they don't really. I think they add around ten to his physical attack. Um, so again, not getting a whole lot out of that, but you know, it was something. So, um, anyways, yeah, that looks like that's good. I think we've gone over all of the different kind of things that uh, we need for the setup. Um, but let's start off here in Trapu Hapu. Uh, and that is uh, is going to be the young man here. Again, keep in mind that all of these duels need to happen during the day as well. So um, just make sure that Raise you're your weapon. Uh, here in the day. Now, all right, so the first thing that you'll want to do here is uh, is take a look at the, the next turn up there at the top in the center. You can actually see that the, the young man is going to get his turn first uh, and then Hikari. And that's kind of a problem. Now, I'm just going to flee. Um, and this is just RNG. Uh, that is just the way that this works every every once in a while. He gets his turn first, uh, and at other times you'll get, or Hikari will get his turn. Um, here's another time where he's getting his turn first. So again, I'm just going to run. And um, we'll just keep repeating this. This is probably the most annoying aspect of this process, is just making sure that uh, Hikari is getting his turn before the young man on the next turn. Uh, and again, we're just going to have to, you know, deal with that. Now, you can actually, if you're if you're feeling really gutsy, you can try to do this while he's getting his turn first. But then you're probably relying on the Hypno Sword to put him to sleep. I don't really like to do that, but I at least wanted to throw that in here. And that is why I prefer the, uh, the Hypno Sword uh, on him. You know, I'll be honest, this doesn't normally take this many times. I think it's like four battles in a row here where Hikari was acting second. So uh, that's a little odd, but... Here he is now. Again, take a look at the top there. You can see that for the next turn, Hikari is going first and acting for him. So I know I'm good to go. So we'll just go to learn skills, use Hazy Slash, and then do a fully boosted Mythical Boar for the kill shot. 89k, just like that. Easy stuff. Um, Unfortunately, no battle-tested blade still, this time, but that's all right. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the next target here, uh, which is going to be in Psy, and um, we'll just uh, we'll just give this guy a shot too. Um, always, you know, make sure that you're resting uh, in between battles here. All right, and now we will travel on, baby. Oops, too far away. There we go. Raise your weapon. Um, my turn. There you go. So uh, Hikari's already acting first, so I know I'm good to go. We'll just do the hazy slash right away. Now it be and finish it off with the mythical boar. For the pride of I didn't crit that time, which is kind of crazy, but that's all right. Uh, that's also why I don't rely on the. Uh, the, is it the Finisher's Fangs? Let me just see here. Yeah, oh, Finisher's Claws. Yeah, that's why I don't rely on those, right? Because he doesn't always crit. Um, alright, so yeah, so that was the, um, that was the, uh, that guy, that's the guy that drops the spear. Let's take a look. What's next here? The dagger, okay. Uh, dagger is New Delsta. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm sorry, Clockbank. Yeah, so let's head over here. Actually, I'm gonna need to, uh, hit the, uh, Hit the um, the bar really quickly. Oh yeah, well perfect. It is the bar that we need to go into anyway. Um, but I do need to swap out uh, Throne uh, here for. Oops, and I just realized I need to rest as well. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use uh, I'm just gonna use uh, plums because I don't want to uh, go over to the inn. I'm feeling lazy. Uh, oh wow. Okay, those are too far down. All right, so we'll just use the plums. You don't, you don't really want to be using plums, right, to restore his uh, his SP because that's going to take a, a lot. But anyways, all right, so the first thing that you want to do here is wait until, or uh, switch to nighttime and then knock this guy out or ambush him and uh, put him down and then swap back to the daytime. And we're going to deal, or uh, we're going to duel this uh, this old, this elderly man who's a total, um, a total badass. He does have that, uh, like, I would say the, the, the best dagger skill in the entire game. Um, all right, so uh, Hikari is acting uh, first again, so I'm just going to use this hazy slash right away. I'm getting kind of lucky here. I didn't start out so lucky, but, uh, you know, the subsequent battles have been pretty good. But, uh, again, that, that guy is the one that drops the, um, the battle-tested dagger. 
Uh, and here you can see the Fatal Fang. They're Unleash a Dagger Attack on a Random Force four to eight times. Have a chance to poison them for two turns. That is so good. That just shreds, especially if you've got a boss uh, that's vulnerable to Dagger Attacks. Uh, that just shreds. I love that skill. All right, next up is the Axe. Uh, so let's head to uh, Cape Cold. Uh, this is one of my favorite weapons, I should say. I do like the uh, the lightning and um, ice uh, boosting aspect of these uh, or this axe, especially on Oswald. I usually have him as an apothecary uh, because he's able to heal really, really well with that class, uh, as well as that axe. You know, is going to increase the damage of his uh, his ice and lightning spells on his scholar. So, uh, just a really solid uh, axe for him. Uh, anyways, all right, so yeah, again, you can take a look there at the top. Uh, 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 Hikari's getting his turn right away, so we'll just use Hazy Slash. And then finish off with the myth, uh, Mythical Boar. Uh, I should also say that, you know, you'll get to a point where Hikari is leveled enough and you won't even need to use Hazy Slash, but um, I, I'm, I don't believe I'm to that point yet. So uh, I just, uh, or I should say, just keep that in mind. All right, so that was the potentially the axe. Next up is the bow. All right, so we're heading to New Delsta next. Uh, and sorry that I, I'm not including clips of of all these weapons as they actually drop. Um, I just that, that's really time consuming, and I don't want to cut together a video again of of doing that. Uh, my other battle tested video has all of those uh, drops um, shown. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's take uh, take on the tutor next. Uh, again, she's uh, dropping the battle-tested bow. Uh, let's Prepare take a look yourself. here. All right, so she's starting out uh, first. Uh, let's just show this at, uh, or show what happens here if uh, if she's starting first. I'm likely, um, you know, this is probably not yet. Net doesn't didn't put her to sleep. Here I lost a bunch of health. We'll use this mythical boar. I'll just show you. We're not gonna do it. Oh crap! Okay, well I crit anyway. Well, that was uh, that was not supposed to be successful, but hey, okay. Uh, fair enough. I guess it could be possible that he's so leveled now to what am I? Yeah, 77. Uh, that that you know I'm I'm uh, I'm able to sometimes crit and 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 finish her off. I'm actually gonna try this one more time. I want to see if uh, I want to see if I don't crit if uh, if I can still knock her out. But um, yeah, we'll see here. So let's uh, we'll go outside. We'll reset her and then come back in. I'm just kind of curious if uh, if that's still gonna work. Um, you know, usually this doesn't work out this way, right? Because of uh, On your guard. Uh, once peak performance uh, isn't yourself. active, well, of course. Now um, she's not even acting first. Um, but yeah, so once you know peak peak performance isn't. Uh, oh, and yeah, so that wasn't a crit, and I basically did the same exact damage. So yeah, had I had uh, she actually taken her uh, uh, turn still, first and, and smoked me, there's a really good chance that I wouldn't have been able to uh, to finish her off. But anyways. Um, let's keep moving on here. So that was the bow. Next up is the staff. So that's uh, uh, Canal Brian. Uh, let's actually, I'm going to rest one more time here just because it's so close. And then we'll head on over there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you know, if you're, if, if you're doing enough damage, like I guess I am now, apparently. I didn't even, I didn't realize he was kind of such a monster now. But, um, you know, uh, it's generally not a good idea to attempt that. Oops, I'm in the wrong spot. Uh, it's supposed to, yeah, it's can Canal Brian, not, uh, whatever it was, I didn't even, what's this other town called? Jesus, Conning Creek. Getting rusty already, but anyways, um, so yeah, the, the easiest way here is to just jump in that boat, uh, and, and cruise across the, the canal, uh, and take on this cleric here. Uh, so this cleric has the divine protection skill, I always have to uh, mention this every time I, uh, come here, but, um, yeah, she's gonna get her turn first. So maybe we'll see. Maybe this will maybe this will put put an end to my streak. Here I go. She flashed me. <laughs> what kind of nun are you? Oh, I killed her anyway. Yeah, again, I crit again. So um, I'm getting kind of lucky here. But um, anyways, uh, I always have to point out that uh, this divine protection skill uh, is basically what won the Galdera uh, battle for me. Uh, it's such a solid skill. Um, you know, I should say the Galdera uh, second phase. Uh, all right, so that was uh, that was all of the weapons. Uh, let's go do the the shield now. Uh, that is Montwise. So let's uh, zip on over here. 
All right, so the uh, the battle tested shield is dropping from this guy here. If I who has the last gasp ability, which is also kind of cool now uh, for farming it's... in this method. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see. All right, so I'm going first here. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have actually flee because I wanted to show you this. Uh, I I think that this this guy is probably the best one uh, in that. You don't actually need uh, to be going first before he does. Oh, he's there, there. So he's set up to go uh, first, right on the next turn. So let's just hazy slash him, and I'll just show you. So he's going to always use slow motion, uh, which doesn't actually do anything to you. So you can still just mythical bore him, and uh, and always, you know, get. Get him down before he even hits you, uh, you know, and, and messes up your uh, peak performance. So, uh, anyways, that is where the battle tested shield is at. Uh, let's um, actually let me just show you. Uh, I could because it feels a little lame to not um, at least uh, show all of the different stats on these weapons. Uh, I don't have all of them on this save file, so I'm gonna load my other one here really quickly just to show you all the different. Um, uh, all of the different weapons. Yeah, let's load my my previous game here. All right, so Hikari. All right, so here's the battle tested blade. Uh, 400 physical attack, a 120 crit raises potency of physical skills. This thing is so freaking good. I also have to say that um, I I read somewhere that the battle tested blade and and the you know raising the potency of physical skills. I read, sir, somebody had stated that these two don't stack, the Giant's Club and the Battle Tested Blade, but I think they do. Um, just from the, what little, uh, you know, testing I've actually done myself, it certainly seems that it actually stacks, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely worthwhile to have both on, uh, from, from my experience anyway. Um, all right, so here's the Battle Tested Spear. Uh, 390 physical attack, 120 crit, and then slim chance to blind the target. Um, and I should say, you know, battle tested blade. That's again the the young man in Trapu Hapu. Uh, the battle tested spear is coming from that NPC NPC in uh, in Sai. Uh, the blade, the battle tested dagger. I guess I've already got these equipped on somebody, but uh, this one again, clock bank. Uh, physical attack 380, evasion 120, and then slim chance to reduce the target's accuracy. Um, uh, battle tested axe was in Cape Cold there, uh, 400 physical attack, uh, 250 elemental attack, which is also really cool too, especially if you're running around with a conjurer, uh, and, you know, giving your allies the, kind of like the runes, right, from the first game. Uh, I don't know what they were, what they're even calling them in this, uh, I, I've barely used that class, but, um, but it is cool though. So again, raises potency of lightning and ice based attacks. I love this thing. This is one of my I mean, probably my favorite is the Battle Tested Blade, but, uh, you know, kind of second place is going to be the Battle Tested Axe. And mostly because I love this on um, on Oswald. Uh, I mean, at really any any of your scholars, right, this thing is going to be amazing uh, because of the uh, potency of lightning and ice basic. Also, that does, those stack as well. So, like, the, the Battle Tested Axe is going to stack with, like, the... Um, Oh, do I not have that? Where's the... Am I freaking blind here? I'm looking for the, um, the other bow. Absolute zero bow. So this is, again, you know, raises potency of ice-based attacks. Um, again, great, great, uh, if you can stack this stuff up on... Like, uh, Oswald as a hunter can equip, you know, the battle-tested axe and the sub-zero bow, uh, and a good staff... Uh, in order to, you know, really stack up that ice damage. But anyways, um, that's the battle-tested axe. Next up is the battle-tested bow. 390 physical attack, 120 crit, slim chance to reduce targets, physical defense. This is insane on um, Hikari, uh, especially if you've got the frenzied fire skill. I don't think I have that on this file. Yeah, I, I messed up, uh, or I, I was messing around with different abilities, but... Uh, Frenzied Fire is so good with that setup, right? Because you're going to be shredding uh, shields on basically all enemies. Uh, it's going to hit multiple times. Um, just an incredible, incredible setup. Uh, so again, I, I love that bow too. That is so good. 
Uh, and then the battle-tested staff here, uh, 200 physical attack, 400 elemental attack, and then slim and chance to reduce target speed. Uh, and then lastly, the battle-tested shield. I like this, um, but it's it's not as good as I remember. I, I think mostly because the Victorious Victor uh, ability keeps you so, uh, you know, I mean, for one thing, healthy after every battle, right? And then restoring so much SP as well. Uh, so I think that this isn't as good as, like, the first uh, iteration, or that basically, you know, Octopath Traveler 1. Uh, I feel like this was even better in that game, but still a good shield. Uh, and, you know, it adds up, you know, uh, especially in longer boss battles, right? Uh, I don't remember how much S HP it is, but the SP, especially, it's like 8 SP per turn. So, um, but anyways, that is going to be it for this one. So, as always, I uh, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.